Mashed potatoes are one of the sides that we consider a comfort food. Creamy, buttery, just delicious. They are far from getting a health food batch though. I am here to show you how to change that. In this video, I'll show you my tricks to a creamy, healthy and lower in calories mashed potatoes. And no, it's not going to be a cauliflower mash. I am not gonna do that to you. If you're one of those people who cannot be fooled into swapping potato for a cauliflower, I got your back. If this is the first time you see me, welcome. Here, I'll share with you what I do in my day-to-day -day cooking to tweak regular recipes into lower calorie meals. This way, I still eat all the foods that I enjoy, enjoy by reducing the calorie load on it. And I keep my weight in check without restricting any types of foods. So let's take these mashed potatoes, for example. You may think there is not much of a difference in calories, but you would be surprised if you really calculated how many calories there are in the restaurant style mashed potatoes. And even at home, we don't really weigh our food, we don't really calculate calories, it's not a typical thing to do. So we're not really aware of what we're putting in it and how much we really eat. I am sure that a seven ounce portion of mashed potatoes will at least include a tablespoon of butter. Sometimes people will add a heavy whipping cream, let's say a tablespoon or even an ounce, and that's not really much. That's another 100 calories and the butter also had 100 calories. Now, some of us like to add some cheese for creaminess and a normal style cheese will have another 100 calories per ounce. So that's together, if you add it all together, it will come out to a 400 to 500 calories. And that is just for a side, a good portion, I would agree, of mashed potatoes. So in this video, I will share with you what I do, my little tricks to make the mashed potatoes lighter. I'm gonna cut at least 250 calories out of that portion. And that is a big difference. And you don't have to restrict any foods you love from your diet, and you can still lose weight and keep it off. To achieve the creamy consistency easily, the type of potatoes you use will make a big difference. Yellow or red potatoes achieve the best creaminess without adding extra cheese or butter. I have here three medium to large potatoes. I am going for three portions, about seven ounce each. That's like 20 to 22 ounces of the whole uh, portion I'm gonna make. Not a portion, but like the whole recipe. Peel. I like the potato peeler. It works quickly, but it leaves ice, as my grandma used to say. You can get rid of all the little spots, ice, by using a small knife. According to my grandma, the ice is a best indicator that you're not such a great cook. So if she saw that I sometimes just leave them in, she would not be so happy. I get lazy sometimes and unless you're showing it off to the people, I really don't care if there's a little dark ice in my potatoes. I am trying to say that you can leave them in unless you are making them for a guest, no one will really notice. Cut them into smaller pieces so they cook faster. If you have different size of potatoes, cut the bigger ones in more pieces and try to make all pieces to be similar size so they cook evenly. Add them to a pot and cover with water, just enough that they are covered. Do not overfill the pot. This is a tad too much water. I will drain some of it. This is much better. 
barely covers the potatoes. They are ready to be boiled. Set it on a high heat and cover them up. They will cook faster covered. Bring them to a boil. Season with salt. I am using kosher salt here and a couple of teaspoons of it. Make sure to salt to your desired taste. It is better to salt less and add salt later. You cannot remove the saltiness if, you, if it's already there. I like to leave the pot partially covered throughout the cooking process to cook it faster. The lid needs to be cracked so the water doesn't boil over. The potatoes should be slowly boiling, meaning small rolling bubbles, not vigorous boil, to avoid mess all over the stove. This should take about 15 to 20 minutes. If potatoes are cut into smaller pieces, of course. Using a fork, check for doneness. If the fork goes in easily and splits the potato, they are ready. Just one more to make sure. Mm -hmm. They're done. Drain the water completely and keep the potatoes in the pot. Be careful not to burn yourself as the steam escaping the pot is extremely hot. Use caution. You are going to need a potato masher. You can buy it anywhere, either in your local store or online. Add two to three ounces or quarter cup of milk for 20 to 22 ounces of potatoes. And keep on working the potatoes until they become smooth and creamy. And this is the second most important thing that makes the potatoes so creamy without adding extra cream, butter or cheese. First, of course, is choosing the right potatoes. Let's not forget it. Look how creamy the potatoes have become. You can fool anybody by the texture. So nice and smooth. I'm going to attempt to make them look presentable by scooping them out with an ice cream scoop. Some dill garnish. You can chop some fresh dill and mix it into the potatoes. It adds a great aroma and flavor. That's a very Polish thing to do. Today I'm going to serve my creamy mashed potatoes with a braised meat, gravy and green beans. And in case you are wondering, the whole dish is a low calorie dish. It came out to be less than 600 calories altogether. I am planning to make a video on how to prepare braised meat like this one in the future. Remember, you don't have to give up your favorite foods to lose weight and keep it off. Small changes bring huge difference. If you're looking for more recipes like this, check out these videos and I will see you on the next one.